my name is Eliza and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing the rapid fire book tag. I have not been tagged by anyone, but I figured, you know what, why not? I'll leave a link below to the original creator of this book tag. I have not actually read these questions at all, so you guys are going to be getting fresh answers from me. Ebook or physical book? I am a cheap person and so I buy a lot of my own ebooks, but I do like having the physical copy if I end up really liking a book. Paperback or hardback? Personally, I love hardback because I always like taking off the cover and seeing the extra detail that the author put into the book. But also, it's not exactly easy to read because like if you have a paperback then it's so much easier to like hold it reading in bed or something, but I would have to say hardback. Online or in-store book shopping? Personally, I would say online because I go through Goodreads a lot to find books that I want to read and also all my ebooks I get from Amazon, but I really love going to the bookstore to look at the books and find new books to put on my TBR. Trilogies or series? Personally, I would say trilogies because then you get enough content, the story doesn't get dragged on but there is some instances where the book is a trilogy and you so wish that the book was just a series and it would just go on and on and on. Heroes or villains? Personally I want to say heroes but I have to admit I do like villains as well. A book you want everyone to read? I would have to say that would be Six of Crows by Leia Bardugo. That is one of my favorite books uh, and it is such a quirky dark book that I just feel like like everyone should read. Recommend an underrated book. Personally, I would say Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I feel like this book needs to be so much more popular than it is. It is such a good book. I was so shocked when I read this book the first time because it surprises you and it is so good. I recommend this book so much and Pierce Brown is an awesome author. The last book you finished. The last book I finished was Wonder Woman Warbringer by Leia Bardugo. I actually recently but my review of this book and if you want to watch that video I will put a link above and below for you guys. The last book I bought. The last book I bought was super cheap because if you guys have watched my other videos I go to the library and go on their sale shelf and like super cheap books but there's books that other people have donated that they didn't want anymore or from the county they end up sending the books to the library. Anyway the last book I bought was Lord John and the Brotherhood of the Blade and I actually I have not read the first book but I, I bought this book just because of the author and I love Outlander. This is a side series to Outlander about one of the characters and so I actually just bought this and this, this is the second book so I'm gonna have to try to find the first book at the library sometime. Weirdest thing you've used as a bookmarker. I haven't used that many weird, weird things as a bookmarker, but I would say typically I use receipts that I get. Use books, yes or no? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Top three favorite genres. I would have to say that would be fantasy, sci-fi, and YA. Borrow or buy? Personally, I would say borrow because if you watch my other videos, I go to the library a lot, so, and I save a lot of money, definitely borrow. Unless it's a book series that I absolutely love, then I would say buy. Care Characters or plot? I would have to say characters. If you have strong characters in a story, at least that supports the book. This is such a hard question. But if you have really annoying characters but a super good plot, honestly I'll probably end up not finishing the book or not finish the series or whatever because the characters are so annoying. So I would have to say characters. Long or short books? I would have to say long. You get more content, you learn more about the, the world you're you're reading about, you just end up with a lot more content to consume. Name the first three books you think of. Voyager, uh, Ruin and Rising, Six of Crows. Books that make you laugh or cry. I wouldn't say I've come across any books that have made me cry, but if I were to say one in particular that made me laugh, 
I would say The Hating Game. That book was so funny and I honestly kind of want to read it again. Our world or fictional worlds? Hands down fictional worlds. I always like escaping from the world because all the stress and just stuff going on that you just want to get away from and so reading a book just helps that out so much and also I read before I go to bed just to escape thinking about all kinds of things that might keep me up at night so definitely fictional world. Audiobooks yes or no? Hands down yes as long as the reader is a very good reader and enhances the book such as does different voices or just has a certain accent that is related to the series and hands down yes typically i read a book and have an audiobook at the same time do you ever judge a book by its cover yeah i'm guilty i do all the time i don't even look at the name of the book i always look at the cover to see what's on it especially photo composites personally because I love doing photo composites and so I always look at that kind of detail and I just love really nice covers and if the book doesn't have a nice cover I usually don't even look at this description which is kind of bad maybe on my part. I'm trying to sell a book you gotta have a good cover. Book to movie or book to TV adaptation. Personally, I would say book to TV adaptation, but I have seen some book to TV adaptations that were horrible, horrible, horrible. So it's kind of a toss up. Book to TV, such as like Game of Thrones and Outlander, those are really good TV adaptations. So I would have to say TV adaptation. A movie or TV show you prefer than the book? I would have to say that's Game of Thrones. I have been audiobooking a Game of Thrones for so long and I'm stuck on a Clash of Kings. The show, I can get through the show so much. Audiobooking is such a struggle. There's so many names. I'm just a lot better with watching and basis to names because then I at least have an idea who's who. But when I'm listening to it, it's just so hard for me to grasp all that. So definitely a Game, a game of Thrones. Series or standalones? Definitely series. I've read some standalones that I really wish they would have done a series because there was so much potential and sometimes they leave you hanging with stuff that's just like, okay. Hands down series because then you get more information about the world you're reading about and taking the time to read. If you watch this video, then consider yourself tagged. Tell me what your book preferences are in the comments below and I would love to hear what you guys have to say. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button below. And if you like my videos and want to watch more, hit that subscribe button below. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!